pretend any of this makes sense. I don't understand any of this. It's the Alan Cox Show. On the buzzer. WMMS. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady, you're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Come, my lady, come, come, my lady, you're my butterfly, sugar, baby. Such a sexy, sexy, pretty little thing. This paper bitch, you got me sprung with your tongue ring. And I ain't gonna lie, cause your loving gets me high. So to keep you by my side, there's nothing that I won't try. Butterflies in her eyes and her looks to kill. Time is passing, I'm asking, could this be real? Cause I can't sleep, I can't hold How old were you when this was out? You had to have been... Uh, um, 15, 16? I don't know. 2000. 20? No, 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 19. Yeah, it was 18. Crazy Town, the band. Shifty Shell Shock, the front man there. His real name is Seth Binzer. And he's just as famous um, for being... um, For substance abuse issues publicly as he is for being part of Crazy Town. They had one big hit. Yeah. It was Butterfly. It was a massive hit for them. Uh, it, it made their debut album double platinum, but they didn't do much past that. But the video of these guys fighting after a gig, did you see that? No. no. Seth Binzer and his guitarist are just beating the piss out of each other backstage. Bobby Reeves is, because uh, Shifty Shell Shock is so... Um, well, unreliable is the wrong word. The guy's had his share of problems because he's not always an easy dude to get along with. There's been a bit of a revolving door there when Crazy Town decides to go out and do stuff. And Bobby Reeves has uh, been a guitarist for a couple of other different bands, and he's in Crazy Town. And they got into something backstage after a gig, and they're ju- Bobby Reeves ends up having the worst of it. I can't show you the video because it's just full of expletives, but if you find it, you'll be able to watch it. There's a couple of sucker punches in there. Just backstage after a show in South Carolina, they get into it about stealing money from me and blah, blah, blah. They have since said that um, it's all good. They're brothers, but they're like threatening each other and, and hurling expletives at each other. I don't have it. Hey, where's my tool? Left it. Left it. Left it. Left it. Left it. Did I steal my money? I don't want to fight with you. I don't have your money, dude. You collected my guarantee. Who gave it to me? He said he gave it to me. Why are you in this car? Oh, you want to hit me? Just stop. I want my money. I love you. I want my money. I love you. Stop sucker punching, bro. I never had your money, bro. Listen. It might seem silly to fight over this stuff, but these guys need every nickel they can get. So I absolutely understand why. If you think some guy's ripping you off in crazy town, like you're lucky to be getting whatever gigs you're getting. Yeah, I was surprised that crazy town had a gig. Yeah. Like you bear, yeah. Well, it's, the it's, last time we saw him, it was when he was doing that acoustic version of it at like a guitar center. Yes. Where, and it was just really. In Altadena or something. Yeah, really. And he. He's got that meth voice and everything. No He's, teeth. No teeth. Yeah, oh. it's not great. Um, yeah, he butterfly live from um, the guitar what? shop <laughs> from Norman's Rare Guitars, which is really, really well known. But I think he just happened to be in there. Hey, yeah, look at him. I'll show you on the live stream here. He looks like he's like 70 years old because he doesn't really have crazy town teeth. Had a huge hit with the tune called Butterfly. The crazy tune. Town had a with huge a hit. Tune. Yeah, with a tune called Butterfly. Crazy Town. So that's the one thing they've got. I remember working alternative radio when that song was big, and they did throw a follow-up song out, but it was nowhere near as popular as a Butterfly was. <laughs> Caterpillar <laughs> did not... Caterpillar. It was the prequel. Yeah, it did not uh, hit the same way. <laughs> yeah. So they're out there. They're still uh, the gift of game was the debut album that had, um, and it was uh, Shifty Shell Shock and a guy named Brett Mazer, who I don't even think is in the band anymore. But he was one of the, um, he was one of the first guys in that band. Uh, that's back to the teeth conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm. It Ew. is. Yep. Not a big enough hit to get those teeth fixed, <laughs> right? Like well, not only from, that, but um, but but Chili Peppers fans 
immediately recognized that it's a that song is all Chili Pepper samples. That Chili Pepper song, Pretty Little Ditty. That's what that sample is from. So these guys were essentially like mixers and record producers who were like, hey, let's just go have a band. And sometimes that works out great. Mm -hmm. And other times... Yeah, like garbage. That's yes. What that other is. times you'll have a massive hit like that, mm -hmm. but then nothing else. But uh, I think more people probably in the years after that, more people saw him on things like Celebrity Rehab uh, than they Ooh, did with on... Dr. Drew? <laughs> Than they did on tour. <laughs> no, no. That perked her right yeah, up. Yeah, Ooh, Dr. Involved. Drew. Yeah. yeah. Celebrities struggling with drugs? <laughs> yeah. Man, there used to be great <laughs> reality shows. I did watch that show a lot. People kept dying. That's why yeah. they stopped doing it. I know. Yeah, like Mike Starr from Alice in mm. Chains. Oh, boo, and, who? And, uh, <laughs> that's awful. Heidi Fleisser. <laughs> yeah, who else? China. 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 Yeah, right. Johnny Lore. Oh, China. She had such giant, did she, giant did thighs. Did she die? Yeah, she did porn oh, she, and then died. Yeah, she's been In dead. that order? Yes. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, if she died and then did porn? Well, mm. you know. Illegal. But why couldn't we get Crazy Town for Buzzard Fest? It's staring us in the face. That would, uh... Oh, my God. You know, we you announced... I'm sure cuffs we still backstage. could. Yes. Yeah, you totally could. This is... Uh, Buzzard Fest has been on hiatus for 23 years, all right? Last time we did the Buzzard Fest, Crazy Town probably would have played it. Well, yeah. This song was massive in 2000. So, Buzzard Fest 2023, the return. It's August 4th. It's live. Incubus. Bush. What? Well, I hope it's uh, live. It's... Yeah! yeah! And uh, uh, Filter. Can I go? Yes, of course. We're all going to be there. I wonder if Crazy Town was on anybody's radar. They could come out, do their one song, fight on stage. We could pull them apart, <laughs> and then we could send them on their way. <laughs> now for our encore. We just fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just Cross fight. promotion. Let them fight. Fights. Yes. I don't know. System of a Down. Pound Cake could join them out there on the stage. <laughs> that's so funny. Oh, that's, that's my favorite shoot. system of a down song. Every time it comes on, it gets me in a good mood. Every oh. time I'm in my car. That la, got, la, 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 la. got me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Everybody's going to the party. He's a very talented young man. Not that steering wheel, man. <clears throat> Headbanging. But I bet you don't even know the name of the song. Is it do BYOB? I didn't. What does that stand for? Bring your own bombs. Yeah! This guy, he knows what's up. Is that true? Ask him. I am. I think so. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I imagine, I know the BYOB is bring your own beer, but System of a Down doesn't do anything, you know, like that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it would be, be bring your own bombs. They I'm don't sure. drink beer? It but, might not be well, they're beef. Just so, they're very political. Yeah. <laughs> bring your own beef. Yeah. That's how well, I crazy throw town, a party. Crazy Town brought the beef backstage after. B-Y-O-B-B. B-B. B-B. Burp beef. What's what? the extra B for? Uh, that's a typo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the B-B-B-B-B-Q. Mm-hmm. <laughs> If you want to leave us voicemails on the After Hours line, that is a great place to do it. That's the only way I'll hear them. Will someone leave me a voicemail? They will now. Sure, they will great. now. Yep. I'll be happy to go through those. That'll be fun for you. That'll be fun for both of us. Why me? I can't It's like Reddit them. in real time. Oh, boy. Then I am stuck up. <laughs> it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm too stuck up to listen to your voicemails. It's 216-986-8903. Hey, Alan, Kenny from Kent here. I was listening to Car Talk's podcast, and on episode 2281, I heard a very familiar and a very young dick from Ohio. Thought you might be interested. It's within the first few minutes of the episode. On Car Talk? Remember Car Talk? Or yeah. Cart Talk. Cart like Talk was Depot the other day. Yeah, that when talking about the narcs, Cart Talk was yesterday. Car Talk was a show that was on for many, many years. Click and Clack. Click mm -hmm. and Clack, the Tappert Brothers. Oh, now, the show them. 
started in local Boston NPR in the late 70s. I love this show. I love the show too. My dad and I would listen to it when mm-hmm. I was younger. When I was still making, when my older kids were little and I was making constant trips back to see them in Michigan, I was leaving at like five in the morning, right? And Car Talk was on on my trips to Michigan. So I listened to Car Talk a lot. It was Tom and Ray Maliazzi were the guys. And Tom died a few years ago. Ray, people, if you're not familiar with the show, you'll still hear Ray because he does those eBay Motors yeah, commercials. He's, yeah, He's got the thick Boston accent, mm-hmm. and that was like part of the appeal of that show. Yeah. Is these guys with, but they were extraordinarily smart guys. They owned a body shop, they, but they had like engineering degrees from MIT. MIT yeah. yeah. They were so funny and So cute. funny. Yeah. So Tom dies. He was, I think, maybe a decade plus older than his brother. Tom dies in 2014, and they would just air reruns up until a couple years ago. I don't think NPR airs car talk anymore. But you can listen to it, like uh, Kenny said there in Kent. So I go back, and I find the episode he's talking about to see if it's a young dick from Dayton. Because that's what he's... Trying to tell me, right? He's implying, yes. Now, I don't think that it is, but I can hear how he might think it was. Well, no, no. (laughs) You listen to it and you tell me. I'm I'm not saying I'm right. I'm saying this is what I think. Now, the problem is you never know because these guys sounded the same for 35 years. You don't know how old the episodes are. Sometimes you'll hear an episode from like. They don't tell you in the. No, they don't. And I I looked. Well, the numbering system is probably right, but I but there was no cross reference with the year. What I always did when I would listen to those old reruns was, when people would say the year of their car, yeah, I would have to go, okay, how old is that car? Probably, and then kind of work. Anyway, listen to this. This is what Kenny and Kent was talking about. Yeah, my name is Dick, and I'm from uh, Wapakoneta, Ohio. Wapakoneta, Ohio. Ohio's good enough, Dick. We don't have to narrow it down that much. What's up, man? Well, my 1988 Chevrolet pickup truck bounces up and down like a rubber ball when you step on the brakes. Now, I hear, like, what he's kind yeah, of thinking. I don't know. But I don't also, think it I mean, is. The, show, the show started in 1977. They weren't syndicated for a long time after that, right? Here's why Dick is like 75 years old. He wouldn't have been that young. Wapakoneta is an hour north of Kettering, which is where he lives. So I love where Kenny's head was, but here's why I don't think it's Dick. He's calling them with something relevant to yes, what they do on the show, what I was say. and so I, he's on not, point. There's a beginning, middle, Dick. and an end. Yeah. Right, Dick. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I was playing my loot. <laughs> so that was my immediate yeah, thought too. Was I would be like, oh, they got that Ford factory up in uh, <laughs> Cleveland. I'm originally from Cleveland. Like just yeah. Ford up there. Wapakoneta. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I drive a unicycle. If he's insightful, I'm a penny farthing. What? Not, I said if he's insightful, it's not Dick. Yeah, my name is Dick, and I'm from uh, Wapakoneta, Ohio. It sounds just like Wapakoneta, Ohio. Kind of. We don't have to narrow it down that much. (laughs) What's up, man? Well, my 1988 Chevrolet pickup truck bounces up and down like a rubber ball when you step on the brakes. But again, we've only gotten Dick on this show for the last 13 years. You've gotten a lot of Dick in the last 403. I don't know if he was driving, riding a penny farthing back then or if he was a unicyclist. or I don't know what a young dick was doing. One wheel. I don't know what... He would have um, been in his, in his 30s 40 years ago. How old is he now? Well, this is if it was... We don't know when this was. We don't know when yeah. this was. The guy said a 1988 whatever, so I'm oh, thinking... Oh, he said 88? Yeah, I'm thinking his car wouldn't have started to need work for a, maybe a decade. So let's say that was from 98, 99. Oh, no. that That wouldn't be a young no. dick. Bouncing like a rubber ball. That sounds like something he would say, though. Unwheel. I just don't know that he even ever had a truck, though. Just to be so zeroed in, though, on yeah, that. Yeah, he couldn't. He wouldn't be able to do no. it. But anyway, the next time he calls, and invariably he will, I'll ask him if he was ever on car talk. Are you putting out the dick signal? 
Um, no. <laughs> what, do you, you want to do it on Twitter? <laughs> you don't have a giant dick signal? Hey! <laughs> no. I could throw the bat signal up for him, Bill. This is what pays for your house. Hey, you like that? I'm pretty sure all my part-time jobs also pay for the house. <laughs> Well, the cost per fart is uh, in a much different uh, scale than. Ooh. Alan just asked Dick if he ever lived in Wapakoneta or owned a bouncy car model. Hey! Alan, I was at Blossom around 2000 and Crazy Town was booed off stage. Was that Ozfest? Don't know. I think it probably. It was. sounds the timing might work on that. Yeah. Because there are stories about them having a terrible time. At Oz, everybody hated them. All the other bands hated them. People, because they didn't have a rock radio hit no. as much. Like that was a like that crossover to pop. Yeah. It's well, like it was alter- it was alternative radio yeah. was what broke a butterfly. And then it after they'd been out for a while, and pop radio was like, okay, well, let's do this. Mm-hmm. But, but it, it was never on like it's like a happy song. Yeah. Come, on, lady. People at Ozfest don't want to hear happy. Yeah. They don't, want to hear, they don't want to hear about your beautiful butterfly of a girlfriend. Right. Well, <laughs> Caterpillar might have actually sweet. done better there. But Ozfest was also very much like the new metal bands were mm-hmm. very represented. And so if you had a wiki wiki DJ in the year 2000, you were going to get on one of those tours. Yeah, you were gonna they weren't going to do- doesn't mean they liked you, though. That's right. Because they tried doing that with uh, Eminem, too. They put him on Warp Tour, and people just didn't – that wasn't his crowd. So when he would go up in headline warp tour, people were just booing him. They're like, "What are you doing?" Uh, by the way, since there is a rumor of warp tour returning Ooh. after a, a few years of hiatus, we're going to play warp tour band or romance novel later on. Gwen likes to play games when I she's do. sitting in. Breaks up the monotony I, of I hearing find me it talk. Very soothing. Soothing. It's so soothing. I like games. I know you do. I know. Do you? You know, man, I'm just not into games, man. I like to just, I speak from the heart. I like euchre. I don't. <laughs> I like, I like euchre games. and meeker together, Kerr. First Valentine's card I ever sent. Secret the one euchre with the, and meeker. The pointy things? Or that, that's the card game? The pointy things? What? What's the one that. Euchre's a card game? Yeah. You, yeah, euchre's a card game. What's the one with the, it's like all the points and then you have like the little circles Trivial Pursuit? No, 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 no. That it's, also it's has just like an and old. Man. It's a board game. Yeah, Pente. No, I love Pente. Pente. <laughs> so good at Pente. Is it a card game? Is it no, a no, question it's, game? It's, Is it's it a, a board game? Like a board points? game with but circles. But it's an old one. Like it's Trivial just like a pursuit. flat board, but then like there's just triangles, like really long triangles, all Back next gammon. to each other. Backgammon. Backgammon. Okay. What like a James so Bond yeah. type thing. I just learned how to play that in the past year, and boy, does that game suck. <laughs> Why did you learn to play it? <laughs> because I got a backgammon go- board. Because uh, I got like a, like one of those like multi. Did you get a free gift game ones? Yeah, somewhere? yeah, something like that. And I was like, well, let's figure out how to play this. And or we just bought it randomly. Like we just because we, we were like just in a, a game sure. mood. So we're like, yeah, let's get backgammon. And we bought it, and me and my girlfriend were playing it. And I'm just like, took took us a little while to figure out how to play it. And then when we did, we're like, that's it. That's the whole game. Game stinks. <laughs> Backgammon is one of the oldest games in the world. That's probably why it stinks. Yeah, it goes back thousands of years. Yeah. Mm, now ba- basketball. Yes, basketball goes back thousands of years it too. Does. Yes, hundreds even. Yep. Romans Coliseum. Mm-hmm. The hoop was vertical. It was a vertical hoop. Yep. Uh, they had a, a cowhide pelota that they had to uh, throw through that. And uh, there were uh, uh, lions on the other side of that hoop. That's false. Inf- you're giving the people false information. Oh, I'm sorry. I certainly don't want to do that. No. No, I like I like euchre. Card games. I mean, Alan doesn't play. Well, that was the game that my family played when I was growing up. The only problem with euchre is, for me, is that for some reason, it never sinks in. So every time I'm asked to play, you or to every time I have to relearn <laughs> it over and over again. Nobody wants to teach someone how to play euchre. That's precisely over and my over point. Again. I don't want to be the guy. 
uh, yeah. where somebody has to show me every time. It's not worth it. But that's the game. When I was growing up, my parents, if they had people over, which was rare, it was always to play euchre. I played euchre with your parents. Yeah, I know. And I got to sit there like a dope watching. Yeah. You don't want to play? No. Why? I don't know how. I'll teach you. No, don't, because you'll have to teach me again and again. God. I don't know why. I can't Ugh. figure it out. I don't... <laughs> I don't like to be Way a, to ruin Thanksgiving, Alan. I, I don't like to be a burden on game night. Oh. I like to be a burden the rest of the time. Yeah, I was going to say, why stop then? But not on game night. People mm-hmm. are there to have fun. I'll sit in the back and just creepily stare at the people that Nobody are playing. Nobody wants that either. I'll look over there. You got the left and the right bower? Hey, how many bowers do you have? Why are you saying it like that? Hey, is that a bower? Ooh, I don't know how to play, so I'm going to make fun of the term. I'm not making fun of it. That's the only word I know from Euchre, bower. Hey, there's a couple of bowers right there. Happy walking home after a Guardian's win. I thought his sweatshirt said Ponderosa, and I was like, mad respect. And then that would like, be an nope, amazing sweatshirt. It's not. It <laughs> what did it say? say? Pound. Oh, pound, Ponderosa. Uh, Ponder- if someone has an OG Ponderosa t-shirt. With or, like the pine trees in the back? Heck or the, yeah. Hmm? Somebody's probably making those, I'm sure. They, Nobody's making them. Well, they're all triple XL, but, you know, why not? Mm. I got to take a break. Uh, I will have, uh, ooh, you want to see Stavros Halkis? He's a funny dude. He's doing Playhouse Square uh, this year. The Fat Rascal Tour. Get you a couple of tickets for that. Another $1,000 on the way, too. Listen for that next